Welcome back, everyone. This is a another episode of What in the Hell is Going On in Congress. I am Sheepdog Smokey, and today we're looking at the fact that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a freshman member of the U.S. House of Representatives, still hasn't paid tax bill from a failed business venture. Democratic darling Ale- Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez still hasn't paid a six-year-old tax bi- bill left over from a failed business venture. Weeks after the Post alerted the freshman congresswoman's office to the outstanding tax lien from 2012, she still hasn't paid it, state records show. Brook Avenue Press, a company set up in the Bronx to publish books about city children, owes $1,877.56 in unpaid corporate taxes. The state slapped the company with a warrant on July 6th, 2017, two months after Ocasio-Cortez announced her candidacy to run for Democratic income against Democratic incumbent Joe Crowley for the district that encompasses parts of of Queens and the Bronx. Public records show the state dissolved the company in October 2016, which can happen when a business fails to pay corporate taxes or file a return. A spokesman for Ocasio-Cortez, who has called for sweeping tax hikes on the rich, told the Post two weeks ago that the taxes would be paid off right away. But on Thursday, her aide, Corbin Trent, said the congresswoman's lawyers were looking into the matter. I'm her congressional staffer, not her personal accountant, he said. Well, if this is not an example of rules for thee, not for me, I don't know what is. Ocasio-Cortez learned nothing in college because she praises socialism as the way to go. She tended bar failed to open a book publishing company and skipped out on her taxes, but now demands we raise taxes on so the so-called rich to pay for anything and everything under the sun that she decides she wants. When she's opposed, she claims racism or sexism. She tells people that they're mispronouncing her, mis- misstating her name when they're not. The people she say drop Ocasio from her name, I've never seen them do it once. She claims that there was just right-wing outrage over a video that one person said was inappropriate. I didn't watch it. I don't care about what she did in high school, as long as it wasn't illegal. She has proven, time and again, to be unqualified for the post she holds. Yet she will, under current law, collect her six-figure salary for life. Her student loans, which she has not paid, uh, are forgiven, because now she's a member of Congress. She has world-class health care for free for life because she was a one-term member of Congress. You see what's going on here, people? You want a, you want a free ride the rest of your life? Get elected to Congress. I personally would never want the job just because I don't want all the crap that comes with it. But she'll probably retire at the end of her first term, stating that she has better ways to serve the country than to be cooped up in the house. She'll become a media darling, become a contributor on CNN, write books that Lord only knows what they'll be about, and she'll make millions doing it. And very probably, like Sharpton and the rest of them, she'll skip out of her taxes because, of course, she needs the money so that she can continue her good work of ensuring those that she deems unworthy are stripped of as much wealth as possible. She learned at the feet of Cuomo and de Blasio, who say there's plenty of money in the world, it's just in the wrong hands, while ignoring the fact that their state is going under because of their tax policies and their other policies. She drives away retailers that would bring in billions of dollars in tax revenue because she does not understand that a tax abatement is not cash given to the company. It is literally, okay, we're going to take a small percentage off of your first tax bill. So instead of $30 billion, you owe me $25 billion. You're still paying me. They're still paying the state billions, still putting hundreds, if not thousands upon thousands of people to work, helping with the infrastructure because they would need that in order for their business to flourish. When they decided, fine, we won't move to New York, she crowed. And when her own party in New York turned against her, she claimed they just don't understand. 
that giving money to Amazon is bad. Use that money elsewhere. Unfortunately, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, you need to return to high school economics to understand that if I decide I'm going to charge you $25 instead of $30, I still make $25. I don't hand you 5 I just don't take that 5 from you. That's the literal explanation of a tax abatement. It is not, and never will be, we're going to pay you to come to our town. It is, quite literally, we want you here to put our people to work. But what would someone who opened a business that lasted a year or maybe two before the state shut it down because she hadn't paid her taxes know about any of that? Of course, to her, she doesn't have to pay those taxes. She's not rich. I wonder how fast she'll go after de Blasio or Cuomo or Gates the liberal darlings of the multi-multi-millionaire or billionaire clique. I wonder how fast she'll say they aren't paying their fair share, or will she just focus on conservatives? Seeing her record, I really don't know what is going to come next. She childishly supports and proposes bills, and when she is mocked for it, of course, well, they can afford to print off Aquaman posters, but we can't afford to to pay for, for health care. Well, Miss Ocasio-Cortez, those four posters in that video probably cost about eight bucks. Your health care plan alone is $30 trillion. Your Green New Deal and everything in it, $90 trillion. I'd rather let the, the congressman spend $8 to mock your idiot plan that will bankrupt a nation and destroy it than actually let you succeed. As I've said before, I'm certified to teach secondary social studies. But I can't find a job because I'm not a part-time teacher. I'm a full-time teacher. I don't coach. And seeing that we have young adults like Miss Ocasio-Cortez here that can graduate high school, go on to graduate college, supposedly with an economics degree, who don't understand what a tax abatement is, who don't understand they have to pay their own taxes, and who don't understand that telling a country, we're going to saddle every family with a $600,000 bill for services we're going to give you, which will ultimately mean we're taking 100% of everyone's income because we're giving you everything you need anyway. If they succeed, we will see open rebellion. Thankfully, we have the bicameral House of Congress, and we have the executive branch. God forbid the Democrats take all three. I will be urging my governor to say, we're done. We're not going to watch our Constitution be shredded and our citizenry oppressed. But only time will tell what happens. Unfortunately for people who like to spread a good laugh, I'll still be able to mock Miss Ocasio-Cortez for her ignorance about the simplest things, as I'm sure she will stay a media darling well after she is out of the House of Representatives. If rumors are to be believed, Ilan Omar, Ocasio-Cortez, and even Rashida Tlaib are in Democratic lists of people to primary because they're proving to be harmful to the Democratic National Committee. Democrats are eating their own people. Get some popcorn. The show's only going to get better. But for now, you might be able to tell I have the hiccups and my voice is giving out. So I've talked long enough. I have other things I need to do, which such as reading for the new series I'm working on, which will address what I am certified to teach but can't find a job doing because I'm not a coach. So you'll want to make sure to watch for those. Make sure to follow me here on Twitter at SheepdogSmokey, and make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date with all of my content. Beyond that, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great week next week.